Welcome back everyone, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left the last time we were in this new dungeon that I've never experienced before called the Tenebrous Depths. So far, so good. We've done one encounter here and uh, it went fine. There were some rats and a were-rat. There are some invisible... Oh, that's an alpha wolf. That's a werewolf. And there's another alpha wolf. Uh, Alright, so Octavia is in combat with an alpha wolf. Not the best situation. They have 24 armor, not that bad. We're also going to have to... Oh no, Amiri did get knocked down. That's a slight bit annoying. I don't think we need to heal we anyone yet. So let's shoot this one in the face. Nope, no luck. Uh, well... Let's try and get the Alpha Wolf off of Octavia at the very least. And she's knocked down, of course, because why not? Alright, let's try and flank here. And we missed. We critically missed, actually. Didn't even normally miss. Just a straight up critical miss. And that's going to be it for her turn. Mary will stand up, take the hit, whatever. And she can get to attack. We're gonna five foot step Octavia away. She's gonna take an AOO. Can someone help me? So let's move her out of combat. She did survive. And didn't do anything else. Five attacks here. In theory, we should hit some of them. Okay, let's take a look at our rolls here. Five, six, four, two, eleven. The eleven still missed though. We need a 12 to hit. It's not a great chance to hit, mind you. We're gonna heal. A few of our people are feeling a little under the weather. This is going to hurt. Badly injured. And we're knocked down again. Do not falter. Five attacks again. There we go. It is technically dead, I guess. Even though it showed up briefly as still an enemy. Um, right. we'll start on the Alpha Wolf here, and we missed. We gonna need a 12 to hit, so. This is for you. Three whole damage, oof. Survive. Amiri is down. Survive. And we'll be back up this turn. Burn. We missed. Oops. She clicked off the screen. Onward. What is the werewolf's armor class? 20. Okay. Nice. We actually hit for once. You deserved it. Missed that attack. Amiri is going to just delay and stay on the ground. For a minute. I'm gonna see if I can set off the Alpha Wolf's AOO prior to her standing up. Or at least kill the Alpha Wolf prior to her standing up because I really don't feel like her dying. Ooh, a hit. Not a hit. Not a hit. A hit. Not a hit. Well, we tried. Uh, delay a little bit longer. After Canera, maybe Canera can finish it off. We are gonna heal up one more time. Nice. Alright. So now Amiri should be able to stand up relatively safely. Because the were not or werewolf is not very good at attacking, apparently. And that was it. So aside from the two alpha wolves, not a tough fight. Why are we slow? Did I hit V by accident? No, we're just slow. Are we encumbered? Yes. Yes, we are. It's because we're carrying so much scale armor. Worthless scale armor, too. And the full plate weighs a ton for what it's... Uh, it's worth a bit, though. Protection of the Unjust is a heavy shield. Plus two AC. Can't be equipped by lawful or good creatures. Well, then. Let's save and see what's next in this little area. There is a Tongi, or Tongi, I don't know, it's a shock weapon though. There is some loot we missed in that other room though, apparently. Oh my 
my god, things keep popping up on my screen. It's very annoying. Oh, right, we just left those normal weapons. Okay, we're good to go then. Well, let's save. Open the next little tunnel. I'm actually going to... Top up some characters. How are our Smilodons doing? They're basically full life. Good enough then. Alright, quick save in. And we're going through the door. What's next on our list of things? There is a dire wolf and an alpha wolf. I have an idea. I'm just gonna move everyone back. I am your Valerie, shield. you can start the fight and everyone will just stand a little bit further back. I found something interesting. There are three how many dire wolves are there? There's several dire wolves. We should move up, I guess, a little bit here. Hesitate. We're a little bit far back. Apparently, we can go quite a distance into the room without starting combat. Ready and willing. So let's get some people into Commander. position here. Here. And Lindsay was called for. I'm listening. Where's the last Smilodon? I need a challenge. No, don't What's group up. So I don't want you to do that. Alright, and now we'll just start combat. Like Our this. Time. Pew! Combat started. Delaying action until after the Alpha Wolf. Delaying action until after the Alpha Wolf. Uh, is Bless still on? Bless is still on, so we can take a shot, I guess. We actually hit for nine. Amiri delays till after the Alpha Wolf. Canara can shoot. No, she can't, because she had to move. In turn. Delay, Alpha Wolf, same thing like normal. There, there we go. And Valerie is just gonna delay as well. Okay, she's the full round attack now. That one died immediately, 36 damage to the face. Sorry, I had to move my microphone a teensy bit. And we're gonna shoot the Dire Wolf. I actually hit twice in a row. I'm a little bit surprised, honestly. I wonder if this whole dungeon is just going to be a series of chambers that we have to go through. I guess most dungeons are a series of chambers we have to go through, but like very square, unassuming chambers with this weird, corrupty looking stuff. Hmm. I shouldn't have moved. I should have delayed. Oh well. Where are you going? That is definitely not where I wanted you to go, but whatever. That's exactly why I didn't want you to go there, but sure. Flames. It died, I guess. Do not hold back. And we're in a pretty good flanking position with most of our people, up. even though this is where I we can't hit anything. <laughs> Maybe one of the Smilodons will kill it. Or not. There we go. Someone go lockpick that trap before it explodes on us and kills someone. Done and done. Nice. Skinning those wolves. And there's a little bit of treasure over there in the corner, I think it looks like. Our path there is. is we have the bubonic plague? How did we get that? Did we step on some sort of plague substance on the ground? Or is this whole thing just plague? And we're slowly getting infected as we go. <laughs> I did not know we had the boobo in the plague. Okay, well that's interesting. Another treasure chest though. Normal great sword. A handful of gems will grab those, and just garbage other than that. This is a lore religion check, we're gonna try and do it. We succeeded. And we got uh, Unholy Aura. Cool. We're protected against good. Yep. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay, Valerie, you're up first. This looks like a feast hall or something like that. There is werewolves, at least one. And were rats? Okay. Saving. Moving everyone up a bit, especially Canera, so she can I'm shoot in the surprise call. round that's coming up. I always did what and we're just gonna cut it. I okay. I am yours to command. There's several of them that way. I will not Let's falter. back up a tiny bit. Alright, here we go. Quick. So Canera cannot fire. She's not gonna bother. There's quite a few of them, obviously. Let's just, uh... There are quite many of them. And... I guess we could shoot at one of them. Attack. Nope. No luck on that. Just delay. Alright, so we have tons of werewolves and rats coming in. I'm not too, too concerned. They're not very good at fighting. Bring it. But there are just a slew of them. Serves you right. We missed. Apparently one has the ability to cast shield at the very least. This is for you. Two hole damage. Badly injured, and it's Canera's turn. Let's demoralize some of these guys. Here comes the rest of them. So many. They're not very hard to kill, though, arguably. Also, we're pretty close to a level. We're getting there, anyways. Um, yeah, I'll just shoot this one in the back, I guess. Didn't. Our arrow actually bounced off of him. That's pretty funny. That's not great. Canera should not be in melee. And that one took eight damage to wander off somewhere. Tear them apart! And we didn't get any damage done there. They have two attacks each. You deserved it. Displacement. Stay behind huh. me. Let's use an actual spell here. Fourteen damage. Come on, Smilodons. A little bit more damage. There we go. Reduced damage, though. Uh, we're gonna five foot step away because it's silly to stand in melee with a werewolf who's gonna punch you in the face when you have no armor on. That's also not great. Okay. Uh, we're gonna five foot step away from here, too. I guess we can shoot that one. We actually did zero damage. We almost did damage. This one's coming back for some reason. That one's dead. Any last wishes? What the shit was that? It's a... Oh, explosive bomb. I see. It is an alchemist type character. Alright. We're gonna have to deal with that. Mm, and then Amiri can go in, I guess, and kill it. Yeah. Well, that worked pretty well. Canera. Is there anything you can kill that's almost dead? To demoralize the rest of them? Yes, there are. How do you get two attacks when you can't full around attack? That's not fair. We shall overcome. Amiri needs to charge that rat, but can't charge because... Why? Bring it. Well, it's kind of annoying. This is where I step in. Yay, our Smilodon 
dodged, apparently. Valerie, uh, stab that one. Octavia. Alright, can you charge? Yes. But not that way, apparently. Can you charge? Doesn't matter. Go in and fight it anyways. That one's dead. Perfect. Things are going pretty well. Oh, stop it. Stop attacking my smell. Where are you going? Oh, it might be feared. That's what it might be. Uh, we give the chance to fear. It's a low chance, mind you, but... That sucked. Serves you right. Onwards. That one's dead. Consider me provoked. That was a solid miss. Apparently our, our dog is, their cat is down. Come on guys. Just a couple moderately good attack rolls would be fine. That displacement is extraordinarily annoying. AoE it, maybe. That might help. I wonder how long displacement lasts for. Probably forever. Three hit or five hit points? Wow, thanks a lot. We haven't beaten the concealment roll yet. Any last wishes? Our Smilodon just died because this thing has infinite potions. Oops. That's not what I had to do. Should have shot it first. We're gonna have to rest and get our Smilodon back. There we go, we actually did some damage to it. Strike as one. Bring it! Yay, we almost killed it. This is where I step in. Well, at least it's throwing at somebody else this time. Not, not at my existing Smilodon. Come on, somebody finish this thing off. Come on, a little more damage? Yay. Alright. Everything is on this enemy now, and we're done. That was easy. Alright. So aside from one cat being dead... Ooh, that's some terrible loot. Anything on this thing? Yeah, I think I had a bunch of magical items on it. I did as you asked. There's an interview with a weary traveler, which apparently is a quest item. I was successful in my search. I think we broke Octavia. No, there she goes. I wonder if we can rest in here at all. I we might have to go outside. Yep, we definitely can't rest here. We're gonna go rest outside and get our other Smilodon back. It's just important for flanking and sheer damage when it actually can hit. Also, we might be able to cure some of our bubonic plague problem. Which is an interesting thing that I've never actually seen in the game, I don't think. We have bubonic plague. I just find that amusing. <sighs> Once we get outside, we'll quickly do a quick rest. I wonder if we can buy camping we supplies here. Ahead. I think we have camping supplies, so I'm not concerned about the amount we have. Anything of note? Nope. Alright. We can also sell some things to the merchant here, I suppose. Either of the merchants here. 
But let's go. F Why can't we rest here? Maybe we can rest at this dude. Or no, there's a camp somewhere here, isn't there? Yeah, we can spend the night here with the skeleton. <laughs> it's always good to spend the night with your skeleton friends. And there's our cat back. Uh, it looks like the bubonic plague. Oh, that's intelligence drain. How did she get intelligence drained? How much is she intelligence drained for? Oh, two. Okay, whatever. That's not a big deal. Let's go talk to the honest guy. We can sell some stuff. We can also take a look at the book we found. It's probably important. Alright, first of all, offer him literally everything that's not magical and all that junk. That'll clear up some inventory space, and we're gonna do type in sending order. We're gonna sell this... Well, we'll keep the Bastard Sword, actually. We'll sell the Flaming Nunchaku, because no one uses those. Heavy Mace, not very important. Long Spear, fine. Shock Tongi, no one uses those. We're mostly a lawful group, so I'll sell that too. Uh, Bombardier's Vest, we don't have an Alchemist in our group that we use. Breastplate plus two might be useful. We'll sell one of our full plate plus ones. We'll check our Ring of Protection stuff in a minute here. And I think that's going to be it for now. Um, what we're going to do, though, is take a look at that book. This is a long thing. Alright, here we go. This is a regular issue of... Oh, it's a popular magazine, the Absalom Reporter. Okay, we'll worry about this later. I thought it was something to do with the dungeon, but it's not. Alright, let's leave. We will address that another time. We have Light Encumbrance, which is perfectly fine. We've sold some things. Back into the fray we go. I'm really wanting a level. I think level 6 will be a good level for us, especially if I think we get a feat. In fact, I'm... Oh no, we are level 6. Hope we get level... the feat level 7 for our... Um... What's her name? Kineticist, so we can get Precise Shot. That way she won't have that negative four to hit, even though she does touch range attacks, which are way better than normal attacks. Because armor doesn't matter, but dex modifiers and stuff do. Hopefully, though, we can get the precise shot in, because that negative four does kind of hurt a little bit. And we're going to continue downwards. We are 27-ish hundred away from a level. Sounds like there's enemies in here. There are definitely enemies in here. There's a greater werewolf and a ferocious wolf. I've been taught if someone annoys you, a couple ferocious wolves and one greater werewolf. That really, really hurt. And what's this to hit? Plus 17 to hit, and he also crits, so that makes the sense. That's why it hits so hard. Alright, well, let's uh, move forward a little. We're gonna heal a little, just to get Valerie some of her hit points back, and that's going to be it for her for now. We're going to try and flank around this werewolf. We hit him for six. What's his armor class? 21. Pretty low, actually. We're going to use our song. Octavia is going to enlarge person on Amiri. Let's get that party started. That critical hit wasn't a great way to start the fight, but I'm not too concerned other than that. I think the ferocious wolves are actually going to be tougher than the werewolf. Stay behind me. They have plus 8 to hit against 34 armor, so they're only hitting when they crit. Whoa! We critically hit him for 54 damage. He literally exploded into gore. Well, that pretty much ended this whole fight. Let's just tidy it up, I guess. I honestly wasn't expecting that to go that easily. Well then, we kind of wasted an large person on this fight. Kind of. Those are 67 experience apiece. Interesting. He just had a masterwork longsword. It's kind of garbage, but... We'll grab the wolf flesh. Our path leads on. Now there's just a path downstairs, which is worrying. I might... 
might be a little bit worried here. I mean, not that the greater werewolf is a significant threat to us, but you never know what's down there. I wonder if the dungeon will change now, however, it'll be the exact same. We'll see. Sort of reminds me of like Eye of the Beholder. Oh no, it does change. It is kind of like Eye of the Beholder. There's also a weird glowy portal here, which I don't know if I approve of. Let's take a quick look at what it does. We saved first, just in case. It's leading us outside somewhere. Oh, this is a dungeon with layers. I understand now. Okay. It's sort of like um, the Watcher's Keep from Baldur's Gate. Where like you go down and down and down, it gets tougher and tougher as you go. So you can do a couple of the levels early on in the game, but then you might run into like a Balor or something like that, or several Were Tigers, greater Were Tigers, I might add. They are very fast. They only have twenty armor class. Why are we not hitting anything? Why are we only a plus nine to hit? I'm sort of confused by this whole turn of events, but whatever. We'll hit him in the face with that. Oh my god. What is their plus to hit? Plus 14 to hit. I mean, he shouldn't have hit... Hang on. Was we, were we flat-footed, maybe? Alright. Let's check Valerie's armor here. 29 flat-footed. We were. But still, that doesn't... We shouldn't have been annihilated like that. Also, they hit for 41 damage? 2d6 plus 13. Oh, because we were... Okay, you know what? We can do this fight. We were flat-footed, which means we got a lot of extra damage. But, if we start the fight, then we won't be flat-footed. So, we're going to go into the room. Forwards. With Valerie in front, like this. And we're going to stop, like, right here. In the doorway, which is fine, I guess. And we're going to shoot. That way we are the control of the battle. And hopefully we don't get sneak attacked. And we're going to cast Bless. And we're going to delay. And delay. Here they come. Why wouldn't it go after Valerie? That is that is some bullshit right there. Also, we, got, we died in a single hit. That is funny. It did... So much damage. Alright, let's try one more time and then we'll just leave if we can't do this fight. This might be where we uh, are a little outmatched at the moment. Alright, we are really far back. I'm actually going to move our people into the way of the were tigers as they come in. And we are going to cast plus again. Valerie is going to just maybe use a mutagen for once. Um, let's use plus four strength, negative two to intelligence. Yeah, I don't care about that. Do that. All right, she's now got even more armor, so hopefully she'll survive. There's a wait right there. That one's really fast. All right, she's going to go up and start to hit or not. Oh, it's still a surprise round. I see. We missed, or didn't do any damage. We did 20 damage to the Greater Were Tiger. That's not bad. Here's more of them coming in. Uh, we're gonna move nowhere. We're just gonna delay. This one can move up though. That miss. That one's doing weird things. No. Stop. Good enough. Uh, our song is on. Let's shoot it. Injured. And you are gonna shoot as well, I guess. Miss entirely. We hit it for 17. Not bad. Yeah, that armor is good. Alright, badly injured on one of them. We're just gonna try and take down one at a time because they have insanely high damage. One of them is dead. We got six- They're only worth 67 experience? They're worth the same as the wolves from the floor before? That is some bullshit. Oh, we didn't. 
We had to step towards it a little bit. Alright. Uh, we should heal. I think our one of our Smilodons took some damage. Also, Valerie got hurt a little. 19 more damage. Good. That one's coming in. That one just straight up killed our Smilodon again. Well, not killed it, but it's unconscious. Let's try to kill that one next. 21 damage. It's not quite dead. I can't keep this up much longer. Oh my god, Valerie just about died in a single round. Okay. Uh, we are going to move Lindsay up. She can't heal this turn, but if Valerie survives till next turn, hopefully we'll be able to heal a little bit. We're going to move him up a tiny bit. Please, a good heal would be awesome. Seven. Super. Thanks a lot. She is dead, dead. Alright, we can't do this fight. It's too tough right now. It's too much. Too much damage, plus we're out of time on this video anyways. So what we're going to do is come back in a couple levels, because I think it's exactly like Watcher's Keep. Each level is going to be a little bit more powerful until eventually we either win or get horribly mangled. And I don't think we're quite at that point. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you all in the next video. We're going to go do the dungeon we missed at the... Twisted Fjord, or whatever it was called. River Twist. Riverbend? Something like that. Anyways, we missed a dungeon back there anyways. We'll go check it out. Take care, guys. See you next time.